most people in America are expecting that they are not going to become the Facebook friend of everyone. At the same time, most people expect that they have rights to utilize social media uninhibited, without censorship or the concept of old of book burning in a way that it impacts their media. You see, we cannot have companies presuming that they know all sides of a story, and we cannot have law enforcement interfering with people's rights to go forward in their life, to have relationships that are whole, and we have relationships that are true. The liars of America always cite ridiculous comments like, this person is stalking me, this person is harming me, and it's full of shit. Blocking of people, yes, is our right, but if it is done in a moral fashion, if it is done based on lies in your mind, if it is done based on lies by law enforcement to ruin a life, then they should be sanctioned, not the individual who the social media company is blatantly interfering with and harming. It is unnecessary and it is illegal for companies to say, you can use a tool, you can't use a tool. You can use a tool, you can't use a tool. That is discrimination. They are not in the daily lives of our people. They are not in the daily representation of the good book of America that says if there's a discord, you work it out and you repair it. But when illegal people harass the shit out of your life, it's time for those people to be moved from Facebook. Does that make sense? And can you tell who is and isn't lawfully in America? We have way too many problems in Homeland Security for someone to be monitoring us on social media through law enforcement. Now this may make no sense because I could be just throwing out rhetoric to fuck a company, but I'm not like that. What I'm angry about is that I cannot fucking see whether or not my legal heir is alive or not. This is my motherfucking legal heir. I have every fucking right underneath the American laws of bequeathment to know my legal heir, to provide my legal heir my property should something happen to me in despair and openly there is no fucking person at my age who has the right to tell a 50 plus year old man that he has no right to bequeath a lifelong policy to someone he loves.